up, Megan here. Um, free words for some machine. Three reasons why you should use machines and, you know, hammer equipment, things like that, into your workout program. Now, number one, before I even begin, big disclaimer, you guys know I'm a big believer in, in free weights, right? Free weights should be the, the, the cornerstone of your training program, you know, the the basic, the foundation, right? People like uh, the greatest of, of all time, the, when, in the early days of bodybuilding, they all had, you know, um, fucking free weights, and they built great physiques. You know, uh, people like Leroy and Leroy Colbert, um, first man to build 21 inch arms, uh, drug free with only free weights. You have uh, Arnold used a lot of free weights. You know, around his time, some machines were coming out, but a lot of the early bodybuilders only had free weights and they developed great physiques. And so, um, and the human body is made to just, you know, to, it's made to grow, you know, and when cavemen didn't have free weights, I'm pretty sure they're, you know, you know, pretty muscular and shit like that. So you don't need, I mean, they not have machines. So you don't really need, need, need machines. But three reasons why you should use use machines into your training program. Number one, you guys know I'm a big uh, advocate of going to failure on your sets, right? Um, for hypertrophy, for hypertrophy, right? Uh, not necessarily failure where you're like, oh shit, I can't fucking work out the gym and shit. But failure in the sense of you should struggle, right? A set should not be comfortable. I already made a video about that. A set should, should hurt, right? That shit should hurt. Pain is the name of the game if you're looking for fame. So you uh, you have to you know, push your body to the limit, progressive overload and all that good shit. And it's very, very important to do that with machines. Yeah, you're gonna do that with free weights to an extent, but with, with, with free weights, it's hard to go to failure. In fact, you're always gonna cheat yourself because for example, on the bench press, you not nobody lifts, unless you have a spotter, nobody benches to, to, to a failure, that's impossible. Because if you really bench to failure without a spotter, you, you can't, if you could put the bar back up, that's not failure. So um, that's one on squats. You cannot squat to failure. I don't care how badass you are if you alone. If you have a spot in it, yeah, he can help you finish the last set. But failure means you just you fucking can't get it done. It means failure. So we always treat ourselves on freeways because we just can't go to failure. And on top of that, it increases the risk the risks of injury. So um, machines annihilate that. With machines, you could go past failure. You could um, you know you could fucking struggle and then just put the you know the the machine down. Whatever equipment you're using. So it helps you reach failure, reach that threshold where you're gonna elicit the most growth via, you know, hormones being released and all that good shit, you know, CNS, blah, blah, blah. So that's one, it helps you go to failure, which is very crucial in hypertrophy, right? You know, you show me people with the best physiques that advocated going to failure, you know, not on every single set, but it has to be there if you wanna grow. All right, the second reason for why you should use machines um, in your workout program is your joints, right? Now, we, because we're young, we don't think about injuries, but you guys know me. I'd rather read the biography of an 80-year-old than have to live 80 years to, you know, learn you know learn his experience. I'd rather read people's biographies and read interviews and learn from the uh, the mistakes of others, you know, than my own mistakes. And I know there's a lot of people that used to lift heavy weights. You take two people, one that, that, that used only free weights, heavy, heavy his whole life, and one person that used only machines, If given everything equal, when they're 50 or 60, the person that used free weights is going to have the most joint problems and the most injuries. That's guaranteed. I don't give a fuck how safe he was. Just because they're, they're really bad on your joints. So, um, yeah, you want to, you know, limit the use of your free weights to only exercises that really matter. And then the rest, you want to use machines because, like I said, they stabilize the weight for you. Yes, you're not going to use your stabilizer muscles. But, yeah, like I said, your first two exercises should be with free weights anyway. So, you're going to work your fucking stabilizer muscles. So, so, the second reason is, you know, health in general. You're going to, you know be mobile a lot longer um given that you're safe and the third reason why you should use machines is plain and simple lagging body parts it is very hard to bring up lagging body parts on free weights because most free weight exercises uh, allow you to cheat a lot right uh if you're trying to bring up your biceps doing barber curls if your biceps are really 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 lagging you're gonna have a problem because a lot of people use their shoulders or their backs all that bullshit so you it's hard to isolate the muscle and i told you guys i made a video about lagging body parts isolation is very crucial in the development of lagging body parts because you want to develop that mild muscle connection and it's hard to do that when the strong body parts around the muscle take over and help and you know and help out so uh with machines for example on the preacher curls you can't fucking you can't do anything you can't bring your shoulders up you can't arc your back it's all controlled so it's hard to, it's easier to squeeze and flex the muscle and get that good connection so number one reason, uh, you know, uh, for machines is it allows you to go to failure and beyond, and it's easier to drop sets on them bitches. Uh, and drop sets are like, you know, number one God's gift to bodybuilding. Number two is uh, you work out for a lot longer. Your joints will be a lot uh, safer. 
And the third reason is they're excellent in bringing up lagging body parts because they isolate the muscle and don't allow you to cheat. So these are three reasons why you should incorporate the use of machines and cables, whatever, into your workouts. But do not neglect free weights. I'm out of here, guys.